Good morning, dear children. So we're going to wrap up Jacob and Esau tonight, or today. And so uh, we're in Genesis 28, 32 to 33. I cover a lot of ground, but some really cool stuff. First, let's go over here to our new scripture of the day. So we have Acts 16, 31. And this, again, has ties right in. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved, you and your household. So believe on Jesus, and you shall be saved. We're going to see how Jesus is the only way. And we'll see that crystal clearly. Even in the Old Testament, it's, it's clear on how that is. So we'll go through that. So again, we're in the Old Testament, Genesis. We're still in Genesis. We're going to wrap up uh, Genesis on, on this uh, tonight with 28 and 20, uh, 32. So go to those chapters. Read all this. It's so cool. It's really an excellent study. So again, we got Esau here and Jacob. Remember, Esau was born first. Jacob was born second. The first lesson we had, uh, Jacob said, hey, uh, I'll give you a bowl of soup for your birthright. Done. So got, got ripped off that way. Then the second lesson last week uh, was a much broader lesson about how uh, he and his mom, Jacob and his mom, through the will of God of all things, tricks him into his, uh, into his blessing, too, out of his blessing. So tonight is, is, the, is the culmination of all that. So we're in Genesis 28, verse 1. Then Isaac called Jacob, Isaac the dad, called Jacob his son, and blessed him. Remember, Esau was just hot against Jacob. He was ready to knock him out, ready to kill him, and literally, if you read all that. So Jacob has to, has to get out of here. And, of course, uh, uh, his mom, is, Rebecca, is real bummed about that because she knows he's going to lose her kid. And he's going to go away and not see her anymore for a while. So, uh, so anyway, so Jacob, uh, so Isaac blessed Jacob and charged him and said, Hey, don't take a wife from the daughters of Canaan. Don't do that because they don't know Jesus. Or, or they don't know the God of Abraham was more specific. Arise, go to Padan Aram and the house of Bethuel, your mother's, Rebekah's father, and take yourself a wife from there, from the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. So read all that, because that's important right there. And, and he goes and he gets wives for, for during this next 20 years. So here's Rebecca talking to Isaac. And of course, Isaac can't see him. He's really old. And she's like, I know we got to, I know Jacob's got to go for his own safety. So I get that. And Jacob's like, you know, Dad, what are you saying? And Isaac's like, son, you got to go. You got to go. Once you're alive, you'll be all right. Go on over there to your mother's relative. It's going to be fine. So Jacob went out from Beersheba and went to Haran. That's where they live. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set. Now get ready. This is so cool. And he took one of the stones that of that place and he put it at his head and he laid down on it and he went to sleep. So he, he laid his head on a rock. Well, we lay our heads on pillows yes that's what we use well he didn't have a pillow and he didn't have a knapsack apparently no he had a rock so he took a rock and he laid his head on it anyway get ready here we go remember we're in 28 go read this so cool so he's crashed out there's that big old rock yeah i guess he could have laid that there but he's there okay then he had a dream and behold a ladder was set up on the earth and its top reached up to heaven so here it is up to earth and it goes up to heaven. And there the angels of God were ascending and descending. Oops. Were ascending and descending. And of course he's crashed out. This is a dream he's having. And there are angels. <clears throat> and behold, the Lord God stood above it and said, that's why I put it in red, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, your dad, and the land which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. This is in the dream. And God continues. Also, your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. And you shall spread abroad to the, from the west to the east and from the north to the south. And in you and in your seed will be the families of all the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you. This is a note to you and me, dear children. Behold, I'm with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. That's important. We'll cover that again. And will not leave you until I've done what I've spoken to you. And so here's another image of what that could have been. He's crashed out. 
angels ascending, angels descending. I mean, this is quite a graphic image here of what this is. Well, let's think about that for just a second. Then Jacob woke up from his sleep and said, huh, Wow, surely the Lord is in this place, and I just didn't even catch it. I didn't know it. And he was freaked out. I'm paraphrasing. He was afraid, and he said, Oh, how awesome is this place? He used the word awesome. How awesome is this place? And this is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Isn't that cool? So Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone that he laid his head on, and he set it upright and used it as a pillar, and he poured oil on it. So here's the oil, and here's the rock. And man, don't you know he is reverent right then and there. He knew he had an experience with the Lord. And so here we go. This is what he says. And this stone, which I have set as a pillar, shall be God's house. And all that you give to me, he's talking to the Lord, Lord, all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth back to you. Isn't that cool? So he honors that experience with a, with a feeling of giving right back because that's the way it is with the Lord. So who is our ladder? Think about that for just a second. Jesus is our ladder. So in John 1, 51, and, G, and this is the scripture, and he, Jesus said to him, Nathaniel, most assuredly I say to you, that's you and me, hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Well, that's just like this. That's just like that. For you and me, though. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's the way that verse went. And then here's another one. Jesus, of course, is the only way to heaven. A lot of people just cannot tolerate that. They can't figure that out. They just won't believe that, but it's true. It's right there in the Bible. And God said it, so it's going to be that way. John 14, 6, Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, if you had known me, you would know, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. What Jesus is saying is, if you see me, you've seen the Father. That's crazy. That's real. That's because they're, they're one. And so, anyway, so that's that part of the lesson. Now we're going to morph into about 20 years fast forward. Jacob's going to, going to have several wives, several kids. Uh, lots of riches come his way because God has authorized it that way, right? All the blessings that were in Isaac's world go to him, right? And Esau has taken his own road. So now we're in Genesis 32. Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And Jacob saw him and said, hey, this is God's camp. That's cool. He just, Jacob is starting to get to the point where he knows, you know, um, it's not about me anymore, God. It's really about you and your world, and, and I'm, I'm claiming this right now. This is your camp. So Jacob sent the messengers before him to Esau, his brother, in the land of Seir, because he wants to see his brother. It's been 20 years. Is he still mad at me? You know, um, I want to be, I want to, I want to reconcile with him. I want him to know that, that I'm not over him. Um, I, I'm his brother and I'll be his servant for heaven's sake. You know, I'll, I'll do anything just to reconcile and, and do it that way. And of course the Lord's all in favor of that. And the Lord knows all about all this. So here he is on a camel in that cool, good graphics. And he's with a caravan and he's, he's, pondering this and he's confused and a little bit a little bit freaked out a little bit worried you know what if what if Esau comes and tries to kill me well so he sends this caravan out and he commanded that caravan saying speak to go to go to my lord Esau what go to my lord Esau well Jacob was supposed to be over Esau well Jacob's getting smart now the Lord's working in his heart and he's getting humble like you and I should be so Jacob is taking himself and saying, Hey, dear brother, I am, I am your servant, just, just to, to reconcile. And so I've dwelt over there in Laban until now, and I have everything I need. I have oxen, donkeys, I have family, and I just want you to know, my Lord, <laughs> that if you find that I want you to find favor in my sight when we finally meet. So that's what he tells the the caravan to go tell Esau. So Esau gets that message. This is all the things that he has. Look at all the things he has. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's rich by all accounts. Then the messengers returned to Jacob saying, <laughs> we found your brother Esau. 
but he's also coming to meet you, and he's got 400 men with him. <laughs> and so, don't you know that poor Jacob's like, oh, no, no, no. He's going to massacre us, all my kids, my everything. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna obliterate us. So Jacob was freaked out and distressed. Then Jacob, what do you do? What do you do? When we're freaked out and distressed, we can either stew over it and worry about it, not get any sleep, or we can go to God. That's exactly what he did. Smart guy. This is what Jacob says to the Lord. Oh, God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac. Where did that come from? From the dream. Isn't that cool? And God said to him, return to my country and to your family. 11. Keep going. Deliver me, I pray, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he come and attack me and the mother with the kids. So there, he's, he's given that all to the Lord now. It's in the Lord's hands. Now Jacob lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, there was Esau coming with him. And he had 400 men. Ah, here they come, here they come. So Jacob, freaked, divided the kids among, among his wives and among the maidservants, and but Esau ran up to Jacob, grabbed his neck, and kissed him, and threw him down on the ground, and they were together, and it was a good thing. It wasn't it wasn't mean, it wasn't you mean brother. No, no, no. Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. Isn't that cool? Check that out. Look at the hair. Esau and Jacob. You know, so they ran, they fell on his neck, they kissed him, and they cried because it's been so long over such silly little things. Well, it's not silly, but but clearly Jacob, I mean, Esau forgave him, you know, and Jacob was just being humble about the whole thing. Hey, you are my Lord, and Esau's like, <laughs> we're brothers. And so he, Esau, lifted his head and his eyes, and he saw the women and children, and he said, who are these with you? Who are these? And so Jacob said, well, they're the children that God blessed me with. And so I am graciously, has graciously given your servant, you. They're, they're, we're all for you. And of course, if you read the rest of the story, which we don't have time for, go read that. Because Esau's like, brother, I'm covered. I've got, a, I've got enough. You, you are blessed. I'm blessed. So let's go our separate ways and, and let's live our lives the way the Lord wants us to live. And so, oh, go read all that. It's so cool. It's fantastic. But look at this. This is the end of the lesson. There's nothing more after this. But it's just, it's just such a wonderful story. And so, you know, we've got, we've got maybe friends that we need to reconcile with or maybe even some family that we need to reconcile with. Get it done. Let's get it done. But first, go to the Lord. Let's pray. Hey, Lord, I'm fearful about this. And the Lord, the Lord, he knows, he'll line it all out, he'll get it all figured out, and it'll all work out for the Lord. So don't forget that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, shall we, Lord Jesus? Thank you so much for Jacob and Esau and that cool, cool story, the Jacob's ladder. You end up being the ladder. You're our ladder to get to heaven. And so we do place our faith and trust in you, and we just place all of our worries and cares in your hand. And we give you all the glory and all the blessing for it, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you for all you do for us. In your name, Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. We'll see you next Sunday. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to Daniel. Lion's Den, right? Uh, fiery Furnace. It's going to be great. See you all then. Bye. And so we want to thank, DC and I want to thank all of you who have sent us these cool, cool graphics and cards and the emails uh, and the texts. Thank you. We need that. We all need in reinforcing and, and uh it just just some good news and encouragement as we do things like this. So encourage one another. Thank you again for all that, dear children and your families. Bless you.